respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shamsud jaman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's 16th lecture on hematology today's topic is myelodysplastic disorder and leukoerythroblastic blood picture myelodysplastic disorder and leukoerythroblastic blood picture first come to myelodysplastic disorder we have to know the definition of myelodysplastic disorder leukemia related heterogeneous heterogeneous group of disorders characterized by cytopenia due to ineffective hematopoiesis is called milo dysplastic disorder dear audience this is leukemia related disorder heterogeneous group of disorders characterized by cytopenia characterized by cytopenia and it is due to ineffective hematopoiesis ineffective hematopoiesis dear audience suppose this is the medullary cavity of bone and this is the bone marrow in case of in case of normal that is effective hematopoiesis in case of normal that is effective hematopoiesis what happens there is normal production of rbc normal production of wbc and normal production of platelets platelets if there is effective hematopoiesis in normal physiological condition we get 5 million rbc 4 to 11 thousand wbc 1.5 lakh to 3 to 4 to 4.5 lakh platelet per cubic millimeter of blood so per cubic millimeter of blood in case of effective hematopoiesis rbc 5 million 4000 to 11000 wbc and 1.5 lakh to 3 4 or 4.5 lakh platelets but if there is ineffective hematopoiesis if in effective hematopoiesis what happens in effective hematopoiesis there is cytopenia there is cytopenia and this cytopenia includes includes number 1 reduction of rbc does anemia 
thus there is anemia. Then reduction of WBC with neutropenia, neutropenia and reduction of platelet thrombocytopenia. thrombocytopenia. So, in myelodysplastic disorder, we get reduction of RBC, so anemia, reduction of WBC and ultimately neutropenia and thrombocytopenia. What we mean about ineffective erythropoiesis? or ineffective hematopoiesis. What we mean about ineffective hematopoiesis? The audience have told you the topic is myelodysplastic disorder. So, we have to know dysplasia first. It is called disorder of growth. What happens here? A typical alteration, a typical alteration in size, shape and orientation, an orientation of cell is called dysplasia or dysplastic change. So, a typical alteration in size, in shape and in orientation of cell is called dysplasia or dysplastic change. Mm -hmm. In myelodysplastic disorder, there is dysplasia. So, there is ineffective hematopoiesis. Due to dysplastic change in the bone marrow, there is ineffective hematopoiesis. And as there is ineffective hematopoiesis, there is cytopenia. As dysplasia or dysplastic change is nothing but a premalignant condition or pre neoplastic condition, so it is leukemia related disorder. Now, come to if anybody suffers from myelodysplastic disorder what may be the clinical presentations. Presentations, age of occurrence usually at fifth decade of life decade of life, symptoms of anemia like fatigue, pallor, effort intolerance, palpitation, etc. These are symptoms of anemia. We get anemia in case of myelodysplastic disorder. The anemia in myelodysplastic disorder is anemia of uncompromising, anemia of uncompromising. It is called refractory anemia. So, anemia here is called refractory anemia. What do you mean by refractory anemia? It means it means this anemia is difficult, difficult to correct. It is difficult to correct. 
then another presentation frequent fever the frequent fever is due to neutropenia due to neutropenia there is frequent infection and due to frequent infection there is fever hemorrhagic manifestations hemorrhagic manifestations like gum bleeding epistaxis etc this hemorrhagic manifestations is due to thrombocytopenia so these are the presentations of patients suffering from myelodysplastic disorder now come to what are the types or what is the classification of myelodysplastic disorder classification it is classified by france america british so fab classification fab classification of myelodysplastic disorder the audience we can recapitulate there is fab classification of acute leukemia also you know fab classification of myelodysplastic disorder refractory anemia in this type of myelodysplastic disorder the patient suffers from anemia there is anemia and there is less than 5% blast cells in bone marrow less than 5% blast cells in bone marrow and there is refractory anemia refractory anemia with ring sideroblast ring sideroblast in this type patient suffers from anemia there is less than 5% blast cells in bone marrow in bone marrow and there is more than 15% more than 15% ring sideroblast ring sideroblast in marrow refractory anemia anemia with less than 5% blood cells in bone marrow refractory anemia with ring sideroblast there is anemia less than 5% blood cells in bone marrow more than 15% ring sideroblast in bone marrow refractory anemia with excess blasts so patient suffers from anemia here there is 5 to 15% blast cells in bone marrow then refractory anemia refractory anemia with excess blast in transformation refractory anemia with excess blast in transformation there is anemia patient suffers from anemia and 20 to 30% blast cells 
une bonne mère. Une bonne mère. So in case of refractory anemia of the excess blood, anemia, 5 to 15 percent blood cells in bone marrow, refractory anemia with excess blood in transformation, there is anemia, 20 to 30 percent blood cells in bone marrow. And last one is chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. Chronic myelomonocytic ligamia. The patient suffers from anemia here, and in the peripheral blood, there is increased number of monocyte. Increased number of monocytes in peripheral blood. In peripheral blood. So this is the FAB classification of myelodysplastic disorder. Dear audience, again we recall it is leukemia related heterogeneous group of disorder characterized by cytopenia due to ineffective hematopoiesis due to dysplastic change in bone marrow we can say. And this is that the presentations and this is the classification. How can you diagnose in laboratory? Now come to laboratory diagnosis of myelodysplastic disorder. We have to do blood examination. Bone marrow examination. First blood examination. We have to do hemoglobin, it will be reduced as the patient is anemic. We have to do ESR, it is raised. We have to do peripheral blood film, peripheral blood film. RBC series, RBC series show dimorphic red cells, dimorphic red cells with presence of nucleated red cells. So in peripheral blood we will get dimorphic red cells that is some red cells are normochromic, some are hypochromic. It is called dimorphic red cells with presence of nucleated red cells. WBC series. WBC series cells show leukopenia with neutropenia. Pilger wet neutrophil is found. So WBC series cells show leukopenia with neutropenia and there is Pilger wet neutrophil. Platelet sin reduced, reduced in number. So this is the peripheral blood things of myelodysplastic disorder, dimorphic red cells with presence of nucleated red cells. WBC shows leukopenia with neutropenia and pelzer with neutrophil found, platelets in reduced. Now come to bone marrow. Bone marrow. Bone marrow shows these hemopoietic fissures. Marrow shows these hemopoietic 
fissures. What are the degenerative fissures in myelodysplastic disorder? Number one, asynchronous. asynchronous nuclear and cytoplasmic maturation. Dear audience, you know if this is the nucleated red cell nucleus during maturation the cytoplasmic maturation and nuclear maturation run parallel and this is synchronous nuclear and cytoplasmic maturation. If it is a case of myelodysplastic disorder, there is asynchronous nuclear and cytoplasmic maturation. Then megaloblastoid, megaloblastoid fissures. We know the large abnormal atypical nucleated red cell is called megaloblast and megaloblast is found in bone marrow in case of megaloblastic anemia caused by folic acid deficiency or vitamin B2 build deficiency you know and this is megaloblast here it is not megaloblast but the large a bit atypical nuclear red cells shows megaloblast like fissures and it is called megaloblastoid but it is not megaloblast because megaloblast is found in megaloblastic anemia. Besides this, there is multi nuclearity of cell. The cell contains multiple nucleus. Then nuclear fragmentation. Nuclear fragmentation. It is a fissure of myelodysplastic disorder. Besides this, cytoplasmic vacuolations, cytoplasmic vacuolations. Then another fissure of myelodysplastic bone marrow, presence of Howell Jolly body, presence of Howell Jolly body. Dear audience, it is an inclusion seen in case of megaloblastic anemia. It is also seen in myelodysplastic disorder. These are the dyshemopoietic fissures in bone marrow in myelodysplastic disorder. This is all about the myelodysplastic disorder. I have told you here. I have told you here. Ring sideroblast. Ring sideroblast. Just we have to recapitulate what is ring sideroblast. Dear audience, you know if in the bone marrow this is the nucleated red cell. During gradual maturation. The nucleus is extruded from the RBC and mature RBC is found. And during maturation, there is synthesis of hemoglobin. And for synthesis of hemoglobin, you know iron is needed. But in case of ring sideroblast, iron is present there, but iron is not utilized due to defective utilization. So, what happens? Iron is not utilized rather iron is deposited deposited in mitochondria so iron is not utilized rather iron is deposited in mitochondria and the mitochondria containing the deposited iron is arranged around the nucleus so, if this is the erythroblast, if this is the nucleus, around the nucleus, the mitochondria, mitochondria contains iron and this is sideroblast. It is found in sideroblastic anemia. It is found in sideroblastic anemia. You know, in sideroblastic anemia, we get hypochromia of red cell. So, in 
myeloid specific disorder we get dimorphic blood ce red cells some red cells are normochromic some are hypochromic hypochromic due to sideroblast after all you have pilger wheat neutrophil what is this dear audience we know the neutrophil usually two to three lobed nucleus if the lobe of nucleus become two two lobes of nucleus two lobes of the nucleus with hypogranularity or no granules then the neutrophil is called pilger wheat neutrophil again pilger wheat neutrophil contains two lobes and there is hypogranularity or no granules it is called pilger wheat neutrophil derodens now come to leuco erythroblastic blood picture what is it it is defined as presence of immature cells of myeloid series and nucleated red cells in peripheral blood due to disturbance of marrow there are denses denses presence of immature cells in myeloid series and nucleated cells in peripheral blood due to disturbance of marrow is called leuco erythroblastic blood pictures suppose this is the medullary cavity this is the bone and the medullary cavity contains bone marrow if there is no disturbance if no disturbance if no disturbance in bone marrow there is normal production of rbc production of wbc production of platelet and if there is no disturbance there will be no nucleated red cell in peripheral blood and no immature cells in in the series of wbc but if the bone marrow is disturbed then there is presence of immature cells of myeloid series and nucleated red cell in peripheral blood and by definition this is leuco erythroblastic blood picture now come to what are the disturbances or what are the causes or disturbances of bone marrow that will lead to leuco erythroblastic blood picture i mean causes of leuco erythro blastic blood picture causes of leuco erythro blastic blood picture myelofibrosis myelofibrosis metastatic tumor bone that is secondary to one of the bone hemolytic anemia these are the important causes of leuco erythroblastic blood picture dear audiences medullary cavity containing marrow if there is fibrosis it is called myelofibrosis and this myelofibrosis is one of the disturbance of bone marrow if any cancer from any side enters in the bone 
it is called metastatic tumor in the bone this metastatic tumor in the bone or the malignant cells coming from outside in the bone marrow will disturb the bone marrow and hemolytic anemia we know anemia results from premature massive destruction of red cell is called hemolytic anemia if anybody suffers from hemolytic anemia the bone marrow is disturbed how disturbed due to hemolytic anemia bone marrow is stimulated so disturbances following myelofibrosis following metastatic tumor of bone following hemolytic anemia there is presence of immature cells of myeloid series and immature cells of rbc series that is nucleated red cell in peripheral blood and this is called leukoerythroblastic blood picture now come to blood picture of leukoerythroblastic blood picture peripheral blood film rbc series show nucleated red cells wbc series wbc series show shift to left wb series cells show shift to left that is along with massive wbc there is immassive wbc also along with massive neutrophil there may be promyelocyte myelocyte and sometimes myeloblast also and it is called shift to left of wbc platelet sin adequate in number adequate in number platelet sin in adequate in number this is the blood picture another test is done to diagnose leuco erythroblastic blood picture reticulocyte count their audience reticulocyte normal count is 0 to 2 percent normal is 0 to 2 percent if it is a case of leuco erythroblastic blood picture it is increased it is increased so this is all about leuco erythroblastic blood picture again we recall i have told you today myelo dysplastic disorder it is leukemia related heterogeneous group of disorder characterized by cytopenia there is anemia there is neutropenia there is thrombocytopenia due to ineffective hematopoiesis i have told you leuco erythroblastic blood picture it is defined as presence of immature cells of myeloid series and nucleated red cells in peripheral blood and it is due to disturbance of marrow and disturbance may be due to myelofibrosis metastatic tumor of bone hemolytic anemia if we do peripheral blood film what are the findings in leuco erythroblastic blood picture rbc series show nucleated cell and wb series show shift to left but there is adequate number of platelet with increased number of reticulocyte so this is all about the myelodysplastic disorder and leukoerythroblastic blood picture to adapt to this thanks all